Hello everyone, how you doing? Welcome to Game Tech UK. Welcome to a bit of American Truck. I haven't played American Truck Sim since the 24-hour charity live stream, and then I only played it for what about four or five hours. Um, so yeah, it's nice to get back on it. We got our uh, a truck here. I'm actually on my way to pick up a um, heavy cargo. It's really long. It's articulated. It's gonna go wrong. Of course, it's gonna go wrong. Of course it is. But that's part of the fun, isn't it? Um, so yeah, we're going to get on probably an hour and a half today, something like that, um, and have a nice old play on American trucks and show you some lovely American uh, scenery. It's going to be cool. Let's say hello. We've got 75 in straight away, which I do appreciate. We've got Unknown Man, Archie's in here. We've got Callum, Anthony, Marcus, Daniel, Daniel Walker. we got uh, Sam Leo. Uh, we got Will. we got Chris. Pivers is in here. Scud, we got Ken, um, Gordon, and we got Glenn uh, underscore GT UK as well. Welcome, uh, Cameron underscore GT UK. Yeah, oh, lovely Cameron. That's awesome. Uh, we have got Jake, Jack, Leah, um, Alex. Let's get on with it. Simon Keatley. So, where are we actually going on the map? We are. Let's reset the navigation now. So we're coming all the way up to Utah, I think it is. Let's go and pick up the truck first, and you'll see how long it is. It's, it's going to be crazy. I've never done um, a heavy cargo as long as this, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be interesting. Steve Barker, how are you? I'm going to miss a few people, aren't I? Hello, warrior. Hello, Dams, how are you? Yeah, exactly, Scorp. It is nice, actually, just to um, uh, see some real scenery. It's lovely. Hello, Skippy. How's it going, Skippy? I think I'm going out the wrong way, actually. My wheel is called the Frostmaster TGT. Tango Golf Tango. Yeah, I think I'm going out the, e the entrance, but it's fine. Hello, T-Rock, how are you? Hello, Hals. Yeah, we're meant to be on this side, but it's fine. It's Oh, no, it's not fine, because there's a copper there. It's fine. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here at all. This is only on PC. I like them both, Infinite. There's something about American Truck. The fact that, obviously, it's... Um, all the scenery is all new to me. Oh, I need to reset my navigation. Sorry. Let's go to the job market. I'll be able to show you exactly what which one I'm picking up then. It's this one. So, I mean, it's... Uh, no, it's not that one. It, no, hang on. Well, 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 it's not that one. It's that one. Yes, it's that one. So we're going to go from there up to Utah. Actually, I'm not sure. Is that a heavy load? No, it's articulated though. Okay. Um, it's not the one I thought I was going to do, but it's fine. We'll do that and we'll do another one afterwards. It was good last night, Steve. Yeah, it was. Get ready to turn right. Oh, nice one, Warrior. You shouldn't have to tinker that much, Warrior. Just put it all to standard settings. You should be fine. Turn right. 500 brake horsepower, Jason. How'd you get the plates in the window? You just go and uh, just go to go to uh, customize your truck. Yeah, Max done really well, didn't he? Stay right. And then turn right. Turn right. I'm not sure, and I mean, probably not. This might be my only stream today. <clears throat> <clears throat> I 
I might just have an evening um, with my missus in front of the TV. Is it a Kenwood or is it a Peterbilt? Uh, no, it's a Peterbilt. Yeah, it's Peterbilt. Looks cool, doesn't it? Oh, nice one, Glenn. Oh, you're going to be absolutely... You're going to be on that all night, aren't you, Glenn? Yeah, Jake, I've already put a... Um, I've already put a vote up for this Friday, whether people wanted... Um, whether people wanted um, farming or trucking, and it's trucking. So we're going we're gonna to have a, uh, a trucking convoy. That's it. Hello Shane, how are you? Who needs sleep? Yeah, exactly. Right, what I need to do is, and again, because I'm trying to do as many live streams as I possibly can, I've got two videos to make. I've got an American truck sim and a Euro truck sim video to make, showing you all the settings, everything I've changed. Like, for example, the way the camera is moving with the steering wheel. I've got lots of little settings that I've changed. I just need to stop streaming and just sit down and spend a couple of days doing some videos. But at the moment, um, at the moment, I'm just enjoying streaming. Just love it. Um, it'll probably be a pro mod server. You can come in if you want, Madman. Um, yeah, probably be a pro mod one. Pro mod needs updating, actually. Yeah, it needs updating. Oh, nice one, Marcus. Hope she's all well, mate. Hello, Muzzet. All good. No, I've tried the new beta with the Windows. It was great, but I want to play on the normal uh, release. But yeah, there's definitely something about American. It's very relaxed. I could do some relaxing today. Yeah, well, Marcus, thank you very much. Can't remember what it's called, but um, I'll, I'll let you know in Discord, Jane. Yeah, of course, Ian, of course. Yeah, of course I play uh, uh, Truck Simulator on PlayStation 4, uh, Chris. Have you not seen all my videos? <coughs> yeah, of course I do, but at the moment, their last update messed up the false feedback, and the more you turn, the more um, the more false feedback you get, and I think it could break a wheel, so I'm not, I'm not going near it until, um, until it's sorted. When will the next GT Sport stream or video be? That will, I'll try and do one over the weekend. We might even have another endurance race, who knows? Hello Callum and Ellie, all good, thank you very much. Stay right, and then exit right. I wouldn't mind doing another um, a set of Corsa endurance as well. Maybe not three hours, maybe an hour and a half. Exit right. Get ready to well, you only out. can in the, um, in the beta, Cameron, it's not available in the full game yet. But you can in the beta. Just go in and assign your Turn buttons. Left. Oh shit, that was a bit fast. <laughs> Boom. Hello, Stretch, how are you? I won't be playing Omsi, no. I like tourist bus and um, bus simulator. I don't want any more buses. That's enough for me. Yeah, you know, like I say in the streams, I'm not a bus fanatic or anything like that. But um, them two games would be enough for me. Yeah, three hour three hours was tough going, you know, in a set of course. where it's it's full on, isn't it? It's full on. <clears throat> straight. It's the new promo. Yeah, there's new promo town. Yes. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly of the number, but um, yeah, I've got Train Sim to do as well. Also, I've got a game, it is quite old now, but I still think it'd be interesting, is Train Mechanic Simulator. I'm quite interested in playing that. It's actually old, it's not a new release, but I think that could be quite interesting. I might play that during the week. I want to carry on uh, bringing you new games as well as obviously the old favourites as well. You didn't want to even play anything. I think we'll do an hour and a half, shall we? 
Should we do an hour and a half? Go straight. We'll try and do that over the weekend sometime if you're up for it. Yeah, the convoys are excellent. I mean, on that 24 hour, especially especially when we um, uh, when we when we all um, parked up together. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, exactly. Train mechanic. Like I said, I know it's not it's not new. It's it's a 2018 release, maybe I think it is. But it it could be fun, couldn't it? Especially if there's steam trains in there. Yeah, let's do an hour and a half over the weekend sometime. Maybe Saturday, maybe Saturday afternoon again. The scenery's great though, isn't it? I've got a blue... Um, does it sound alright, by the way? I haven't actually asked you. Does it, um, does it all sound alright? I've got a blue light um, mod, which I think looks quite good, especially at night. Not too loud, all good. I brought a load of DLC for this as well, because I thought I was going to play American Truck Sim a lot more in the 24 hours. Turned out we didn't, we mostly did Euro Truck. But I brought I brought all the DLC for this, so I definitely want to play it. And see Stay all the right new areas. And then turn right. So this beast is an articulated um, trailer, right. so it isn't a heavy cargo. If we do another one, downloadable content. That's what it stands for. Get ready to turn right. Yeah, sequential. Here it is. Here, yeah, sequential. Turn right. cool little game though. I'm glad to be back trucking actually. Like I say, I did the 24 hour, didn't I? And that was 24 hours of just trucking. And ever since then, I dipped my toe into it, didn't I? I, I played a Euro truck very briefly, but um, I haven't had that feeling to get back to it. Now, suddenly playing this, I'm like, yeah, I fancy getting back into trucking again. I think playing for 24 hours is obviously going to take a little bit of the edge off, isn't it? But I can feel it, I can feel it coming back now, which is cool. Hello, Gaza. So is that our trailer there? Oh my God, <laughs> it's articulated. This is where it ends. This is where it ends now. This is where it begins. Yeah, definitely, Madman. I like that. So we're going to go up to the freight market. This is our little puppy, and we're going to take that through Arizona, right to the other side of the Arizonian state. Yeah, we can do that. That's fine. That's not a problem. So it is a heavy cargo. It is. And I take it it's over there, isn't it? It's... Yeah, it's there. Okay. Yeah, this is where it ends. Yeah, exactly. Well, we'll certainly do our best here. No, not yet, Brendan, but I, I'm still working on it. I'm still working on it. Yeah, they're talking about it. They are talking about it. Although I think American truck looks lovely as it is, to be honest with you. You know, I really do. I think. Uh, I think it. Oh, look at that. I mean, you know, do you need pro mods? Look at that. Look at that. We need pro mods. Look at it. it looks fantastic. That looks really cool. I'm just going to watch that go by. Actually, <laughs> I'm just going to watch that. Look at that. That is cool. <laughs> So yeah, I don't think American Truck needs it as much as uh, Euro Truck did without it. I think American Truck actually looks lovely. And you know I like to take my time and do everything as, as well as I possibly can. Oh, parking brake. Here we go. That's it. Let's do this. 
Get a mod for longer trains. Yeah, nice. Right, what have we actually got on? It's, oh shit, so basically it's articulated. It's like a double trailer, let's be honest. It's a double trailer, isn't it? Which I've never done before. But look at the, look at the mods. Uh, look at mods, look at the uh, the detail of everything. It's just, it is cool, isn't it? There is something about this game. That is really long, isn't it? <laughs> it's alright, I've only got a thousand kilometres to do. It's fine. There's another, I can hear another train. You know, they're the sort of details that you would expect from pro mods, but they're already here. They're already in the game. Yeah, yeah. Can you imagine this in uh, Euro Truck Mad Man? Bloody hell. Right, let's get on. I know they do, Jammy. I know, but part of the company, uh, we got a, a, a VTC, a virtual trucking company, and part of the deal is that you display game tech logistics in the in the window. So I definitely want to keep that going. It will be Andrix, yeah. Oh, look at that! Look, it always puts a smile on my face. American truck, love it. Look at the size of this. Right. Yeah, it would be Gaza. Although, would it? It would be maybe the first few times. And then afterwards, you'd start to think, oh, I liked it when you just pulled up and drove away. You know, you don't load up your own truck, do you, as a, as a truck driver? Well, mostly, anyway. Mostly. You know, you park onto a bay and, and they do it. So... I know you were cane in it, weren't you, madman? And poor old gods, no one's playing it now. <laughs> yeah, I think so in a way, uh, Sam. Let's face it, they're both they're both fantastic, aren't they? They really are. Get ready to turn left. Right, so we've got a thousand kilometres together. This is not going to be a short journey. Turn left. Oh, nice one, Muzzer. So I'm saying about the GT UK, it's it's great, isn't it? That was too fast. Yeah, I have got VR natural. Beacons, yes, 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 you're right. Yeah. Yeah, should we have beacons on? Should we put beacons on? Yeah, let's do it. Well done, Daniel. Good call. Always forget to change down in the gears. Always do. Tut tut, what for, Gaza? <laughs> it's beastly, isn't it? What is it? What is it anyway? Like a tractor type thing? It's cool though. Right, let's let's get it on. Yeah, that is called Muzzer. Looks better like that. Yeah, I'll be playing Farming Sim. People were saying, oh my god, you've dropped it from Friday. No, it wasn't. It, it's on the channel for three months. It doesn't mean that it, it owns every Friday night. Absolutely not. Because I know a lot of people want to see um, uh, trucking convoys, you know. Whenever I play this, I always think, wow, you know what? done such a good job you know an, an absolute feat to get this working like this with this much detail across that many miles I just love it I really do I don't use the wheel on farming sim me personally yes I love immersion yes I've got all this equipment but oh, there's something about playing again look I've forgotten to, to change down there's something about just sitting back and playing farming sim on a controller it works too well not to do it love it I was over the line there a little bit
I think it works better, Madman. It is one control scheme that just works so well. Considering how many how many bits and buttons and things you have to do, I can't believe that how well the controller works. Oh, awesome, Sam. Awesome. Yeah, job simulator. Yeah, that's quite old now, isn't it, natural? Um, what, farming it. sim? That's on PC only, I'm afraid. For me, on this channel. We've got a private server, which you, if you're on PC, you're more than welcome to join. It's open to everyone. It's a private server, but you're more than welcome to get on there. Yeah, I know, Stuart. I quite like this, the fact that it's sequential. I've Go got it straight. sitting right next to me. Um, it's here, and it works as a handbrake with a couple of uh, changes. Oi! Hello, Shmoo. It was. It was epic. How are you, darling? Today, I'm going to take you across America. Nice one, Chris. Yeah, it was fun last night. You did well. Some of them, some of the drifts you were doing was awesome. No, Max is playing for, for a couple of years now. He's asked me, can he play GTA with his friends? Now, the reason I've said no all this time, I've told you the story before, but he used to play it in Joe's bedroom, my eldest son. And he used to, this is when he was three to four years old, right? Oh, look how long that is. Um, and he used to like driving along stopping at the traffic lights and just watching the world go by he wasn't allowed to get a gun out and uh, I think he, he was in he was in my son's bedroom and he, yeah, he was doing the usual thing oh Joe can I have a go on GTA and he's driving around I think I went and had a bath and just left him to his own devices on there when I come back <laughs> he's in the strip club <laughs> he's four years old He's in the strip club, little git. How did he get in there? How did he find his way there? I still don't know. He reckons he doesn't know either. So ever since then, and let's face it, GTA is is proper adult, so I've never let him play it. And he says to me, all his friends have got it. It's on Game Pass now. He ju he doesn't want to do the, the story. He just wants to play with his friends online. So yesterday, he convinced me. Uh, he's a good lad. He convinced me, so that's what he's been doing all morning. He's so excited about it. But yeah, I'll come back in, four-year-old, and he's in the strip club. Uh, how did he How did he get in there? I don't know. How did he know where it was? So he promises, he promised me deeply, no strip clubs, right? He says, no, I'm, I'm playing in the front room. You can watch what I'm doing. So he's just playing with his mates. He loaded your save. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So the little git four years old and I'm like Max what are you doing he looked at me like that <laughs> he knew he knew what a life you have well I don't know about that Steve I still run a business which um, is shut at the moment so yeah yeah it's all good it's all good so yeah I've let him I've let him on there basically Yeah, the thing is, he's he's in there playing it, and um, I'm thinking, I actually want to play this. This looks really good. It's just great, isn't it? It's a proper toy box, isn't it? Proper toy box. You can do whatever you want to do. So you never know. GTA might wake its, make its way back. We are very, very short on fuel. I know. We are very short on fuel. So we're just going to go easy here. Hopefully we can get up there. Like father, like son, yeah. <laughs> I like it. You can see the beacons reflecting on fences and stuff as we go past. Yeah, we're running out of fuel. Oh, shit. This might cost me 25 quid. <laughs> yeah, so diverse from state to state, aren't they, Scorp? Yeah, yeah. I've already got GTA. I haven't got a playlist, no, because when we played it, um, I played it on Twitch, actually. Right, let's just go to the map here for a second, because I don't want to run out of fuel. It's boring, keep running out of fuel, isn't it? Let's, um, let's set the waypoint there. Drive safe. Right, it looks like we're going to come up here.
Actually, the one I think I'll probably uh, one uh, the one I'll probably start playing again is Red Dead Online. It's popular and it's not just driving around shooting. There's more to it than that. So I'll probably right. uh, very then soon right. start up um, uh, Red Dead Online. I think. Oh, nice one, school. Exit right. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Honestly, I, I rarely play um, at my uh, Xbox. It really, you know, I just don't play it. Max has got it in the front room. Uh, people are saying, I want to add you on Xbox. The only time I turn it on is to watch Netflix. I don't play any games on Xbox, I have to say. Um, He's riding around shooting instead. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I just don't really play Xbox. Mainly because Max got it in there. If the next console is as good as they're saying, I may get that as well. Because Stay what they're saying is is that the, um, the the next-gen consoles apparently are going to be way cheaper than I first estimated. So I might end up getting Turn both. Because there are Xbox people here. And I want to cater for as many people as possible. It's just that it's annoying the way um, Microsoft have done it. Is that if you've got a PC, you don't really need an Xbox. You know, if I want to play, um, if I want to play Forza, I'll play it on my PC. You know, I don't actually need an Xbox. It's a bit weird the way they've done it. Get ready to turn right. Hello, turn Jordan. Right. Oh, glad you enjoyed it, mate. It's always nice when people come in and say uh, they enjoyed it. I don't think everyone enjoyed it, but hey, what can I do? This is going to be big getting in here. Oh God! Please make a U-turn when possible. No, we're getting fuel. That's going to be. Oh, I wonder if. I wonder if you can actually for something like this. I wonder if it's best to drop the trailer and go and get your fuel. It's got to be, isn't it? Because you're gonna. I mean, I could probably make it through there. I wonder if the correct way would be to drop your trailer. We'll take it in this time, but I wonder if that is the correct way to do it. I mean, an articulated trailer of this, this length doesn't seem sort of safe to take through a petrol station. Is this fuel? Where's the... Um, no, this isn't fuel, actually, is it? There's no icon here. It's got to go around the back, haven't we? Last time I ran out of fuel was, um, it must have been, I've only run out of fuel once this year, because I put a, um, a thing on to say, every time I run out of fuel, I will donate 25 quid to charity. You can get a bus through there, yeah. And I've only actually uh, run out of fuel once this year. Right, here we go, here we go. Let's go nice and wide. Imagine if I've run out just here. <laughs> Hello Mick, how are you? This is cool though, this is like taking you all on a long journey together, I like this. This is cool. Turn that off. Put that on. Oh, no, don't do that. And let's fill up. Whew! Let's turn the beacons off while we're in the petrol station. We don't want that going, do we? What state are you in? Uh, I, I'm alright. I'm doing alright, Leon. Yeah, I'm not too much of a state. <laughs> Just joking. That wasn't very funny, was it? Right, beacon's back on. Let's go. Let's reset the navigation. Oh no, that's fine, yeah. Right, so it's going to take us there now, which is about 1100. 1000 kilometers.
Jumping on trailer looks like it go it goes into tunnels. Yeah, yeah, you might be right actually. It's really low, isn't it? Really low. I wonder whether it's just one part of something. You know, in real life, I mean. I think it might be just uh, just one part of something. I think the exit is down here. Let's go down this way. We should be right. It's not like we were on an articulated trailer. Oh, he's not very happy, is he? Well, you want to get out of the way, mate. Come on. Yeah, I can't wait for SnowRunner. Yeah, it's going to be great. Turn left. Right, let's get on our way and get on the motorways. It'll be a lot easier. Max plays Fortnite anyway. He's very good at it. Yeah. Him and his right. friends, they're very good. Turn right. Uh, what? Well, um, Snow Runner, uh, Jack. It's. Um, when is it? June, isn't it? Or is it the end of April? I can't remember exactly when. Oh, that looks nice. I'm sure it's the end of April. Look at that, that looks cool. Yeah, 28th of April, of course it is. Yeah, not long. Yeah, not long. I'm going to have to really compensate for the length here, sweetheart. Yeah, I'll be playing it straight away. I won't be going back to Elite. Elite is dead for me, Hells, unfortunately. It just doesn't hold anything. It just, you know, I might play it when once I get my flight um, chair set up. But I'm not going to be playing Elite in any way. No Man's Sky. It's weird. They're doing so well with it, but just nothing they do makes me want to play it for any length of time. I have got X4, which I don't know much about, but I have got it. I've got it sent when it first come out. Um, and I should try that, but as for Elite, Elite doesn't hold anything for me now. I think gaming has moved on too much. I'm going to be totally honest with you. Stay I, don't right. think, I don't think the game has evolved right. at any pace uh, um, that they should have done. I mean, what we're talking about um, Turn right. uh, carriers that were in initially spoke about three years ago. Three years, you know? And now, oh, it's just going into beta. Seriously. You know? It needs to. Oh, fucking hell. Look how long that is. By now, they need to needed to have have base building, space legs, you know, to do something else rather than just jump from from uh, you know station to station. That's not me knocking it. That's just me being honest, really. You know, I've got both of them, Infinity, uh, Infinite, but uh, yeah, I've got both of them. Yeah, not bad. What, what, uh, Mick? Yeah, nice of you to ask. Thank you very much. No, I'm, I'm absolutely stressed. Absolutely, my business is shut. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I didn't want to. Add, well, it's no, you can advertise. Well, it's not advertising, is it, Hells? I did play the crew too. What a load of shit, Will. Sorry, mate. <laughs> I played the beta. Terrible. Terrible. Yeah, I didn't like that at all. But don't get me wrong, though. There's nothing wrong with Elite. It just hasn't progressed how it should have done. It just hasn't progressed. Tiny little micro steps that really don't actually add anything to the game. And if they'd done things like base building and space legs, it would pull so many people into the game. More money, more income, more evolution of the game. As it is at the moment, I think they're just... They're just pandering to the hardcore audience, but the hardcore audience have already purchased it. They've already got day one edition, so they get all the upgrades for free. Who are they actually targeting at? Don't really understand it. But um, yeah, that's only my uh, thought and opinion on it. Uh, who says I won't go back to it? Maybe I will, but uh, I very much doubt it. I think it, I've done a good 18 months, two years of it here on the channel. We made a lot of friends. Um, you know, a lot of people are still here on the channel from the Elite days. Doesn't you know? It's a variety channel. People have left if they only wanted Elite. 
and other people have stayed and become friends because I do other stuff. I don't think it's going to hurt anyone, me not doing Elite. And let's be honest, I was no Elite expert, so it's not like you're missing out on my fantastic gameplay and exploration and, um, you know, tricks and tips. I just played it along like you lads, you know. So it's not like the channel's losing out on anything. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a weird one. I do like it, don't get me wrong, I do like it. It's just not, it's, it's holding nothing to pull me into it at the moment. She said, uh, well, yeah, well, I am a bit tired, actually. I, I, one thing I am pissed off at is um, my body clock is, is fucked, honestly. It's absolutely fucked. I was still up at 3 this morning. I got up at 11 o'clock this morning. That's not me. I don't really want to do that. Um, and it just messes you up. Because by the time I finish the stream, what, it's going to be 2, 3 in the afternoon? And I'm like, fucking hell. You know, let's get dinner on this the evening. I don't like it. But on the other end, I do like it. Because I like staying up till 3 in the morning playing video games. This is a bit of a weird one. Don't think it's doing me any good. But, uh, yeah. You're doing something right. Yeah, exactly, mad man. Yeah, you went to bed at fr quarter past 3, woke up at 11. I'm sort of enjoying it and I'm sort of not. You know, it's not very nice when I get up at 11. My wife's doing her best to keep her body clock at the same. So she still sets an alarm, gets up at half eight, nine. So by half 10, 11, she's ready for bed. And for me, it's late afternoon. <laughs> so uh, it's fine. You just, yeah, you have got to be careful with yourself. <coughs> You've got to look after yourself because we've got another three weeks of this. Um, definitely another three weeks. We went to bed at 5 a.m. and got up at eight. Oh shit. But yeah, thank you for asking me. Yeah, I'm under a lot of pressure and a lot of stress, but that's why I like this. This, this is cool. There's been a few moans recently, but uh, I'm trying to ignore it. I'm trying to do my best to ignore it. And, um, you know, then you had the quiz thing. Maybe I'm being a bit touchy, more touchy than normal. I think we all are, to be honest with you. But the quiz um, on Sunday pissed me off, so that won't be happening again. Um, it's, it's all right. It's all good. It's all good. Hopefully we can all... It's not just about me, it's about everyone. We've all been laid off or we've got businesses um, shut. You know, m my boy's working, but we're very busy, but we're not making any money because we've got nothing to sell, you know. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's all fine. Yeah, I don't like it, though, Zany. The year is completely ruined. I think I might reset. Maybe at the weekend, just go to bed early, get up at 8, do the stream at 10 and go to bed at a normal time. No, nothing really happened in the quiz. Nothing really happened. It was just all a bit... It was just all a bit... Bleh, I deleted it in the end. It was fine. It, it worked out all right. And I think the majority of people enjoyed it. But there was a few issues with the questions. There was a lot of spamming. It was just a bit boring, you know? Yeah, everyone's getting touchy. And I, and I think what I might do is just... I don't know. Maybe I just... Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, let's not talk too much aloud. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. I've got an articulated trolley and I'm not afraid of you. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing, sweetheart? Oh, my goodness. That was close. It's just an option, Leon. Yeah, you just switch it on. I think there's too many live streaming, nothing to look forward to. About what, Zany? What, you mean me, or just in general? I don't really give out the name, Archie, because I, I, I talk about my business, but I don't mix it with the channel. It's completely separate. I talk openly about it, and I'm just a small IT company, but I don't really go, oh, there's my business, go and check that out. Um, too many lunatics on the internet, because it's a limited company. Um, it's very easy to get people's home addresses and all that. I could just do without all of that. Hello, Maddo. How are you doing? In general, yeah, well, you don't have to switch it in now, do you? It's as simple as that, really. Yeah, you can just tick it for voice activation. Voice um, sat nav, and then you can choose whether you want a woman or a man. Hello, British Ace. How are you? What else, you know, if you are a streamer, what else are you going to do in these times? You're going to stream. You know, you can't go out and work. You can just do this, so that's what I'm doing trying to keep the channel as live as possible um, which I've done now for three weeks streamed a good couple of times a day um, 
Gonna get chocolate for cookies. See you later, Shmoo. But let's keep upbeat about it, because if you start to get... If you start to talk depressed, that's when you start feeling depressed, you know? So I like to... I like to keep here, in this room, all nice and upbeat as, as possible. Only two genders, exactly. I want an attack helicopter. Uh, yeah, I suppose it is smaller. Yeah, it is smaller, yeah. Oh, what's... What's that? What? Oh, I pressed that. Oh, shit. That was the wrong button. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Everyone's behind me. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it is a little bit smaller than ETS, but uh, it's getting bigger. Try my best, Mad Otter. Try my best. Obviously, I have to keep myself a little bit sane as well. Who knows? I might have a break for a couple of days. We'll see. We'll see. <clears throat> it's all good, though. Yeah, I was saying the other day, Madman, honestly, gamers are having an absolute, absolute result at the moment because it's just so lovely to have a, an immersive, challenging um, hobby like gaming. If I didn't have gaming, I've got my model railway, and that can be immersive and challenging, so I'd probably be up there. If not, I'd do a bit of drawing or just catch up on films, but you can only... You can only do that so much, can't you? If you, it's, it's like my wife. She she plays Candy Crush and that, but she doesn't call herself a gamer. And sometimes it is hard when y your wife hasn't got a, a hobby or whatever. Yeah, but gaming does. It can. It's brilliant because it can just instantly take up a day, can't it? Right, that's that done. One, we passed a day. Two, we found something to do. Stay Three, left. we loved it. You know, it's not like you're. You know. No, I'm not getting burnt out at the moment because I'm playing. This is why I only. This is why at the moment there's no schedule. I just stream when I fancy it. Um, someone said Mo Ra model railway. There's a stream to start with. Yeah, go to my channels only. I've done that. I was the first person to live stream model railway on YouTube, and uh, that was pretty cool. It was so funny because uh, I had a great little community. Not my community, we was a community because everyone's got model railways, so on YouTube it's great. And uh, my, 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 my layout was quite well known. And because I was obviously in IT and doing things like this, I live streamed Stay from the railway and no one had ever done that before. Is it left? Bloody hell. And it was so funny, people were coming in, because a lot of old geezers, of course, so half of them are struggling to get their, their, their stuff um, up onto YouTube. And I remember streaming, they're like, you know, what? What, what? You're you're up in your railway right now. They didn't understand it. What? Hang on. So this is live. Oh, what? how did you just answer my question? It's so funny. But yeah, I started live streaming and got some of the others into it. Yeah, that was cool. Really like that. But no, the I won't. Um, that's why at the moment I haven't really got a schedule and I haven't got a game schedule. Stay People are saying that. like, what are you going to play later? I don't know. It has to be what I fancy. That's the only way to do it. So no, I don't feel I don't feel like getting burnt out or anything like that. <clears throat> we need more vids or streams. Go to the channel. There's four years of videos on there where I document the whole thing from a baseboard um, to what I've done so far. Yeah, if you type in Five Elms, F I V E, and E L M S um, into YouTube, Five Elms, you'll you'll find it. Should be up there with Max. Really, Max is really interested in the model railway, but uh, I should really go up there and spend a day with him up there. <laughs> Can't wait for my Skype meeting at two. Who are you meeting, Baldy? Who, who are you calling? <laughs> is this like the highlight of your day? Yeah, I see 82. Yeah, he's a young lad, isn't he? Uh, what's he called? Um, he, stri he makes videos from his um, conservatory, doesn't he? Yeah, Will. His name's Will, isn't it? Yeah, I, I knew all of them, and they all knew me. It was quite a small community, but... Um, yeah. Yeah, his name's Will, wasn't it, Muzzer? If I remember rightly. Well, 
Was it Modern Railway? Yeah, it wasn't, um, I'm not one of them sort of prototypical, it has to be set. Some of them, oh god, they do get on your nerves. My Model Railway is set between late summer of 86 and early winter of 89. No, I can't do that. Mine has to be just, what, it's a bit like gaming really. Whatever I fancy, I've got all different eras running. Uh, it's mainly about the, the scenery really. I just love building and painting, love it. Mostly network southeast, yeah, mostly. Not all of it, but mostly. But then I'd have a bit of Scott Rowe in there. Yeah, oh God, Steve, yeah, some of them are bang on with it, yeah. Yeah. This one is set throughout the uh, the uh, strike era of 87. <laughs> yeah, and I love that part of it, Ming. I, I like it, yeah, I like it. Of oh, course cool, so I'm going back to farming sim. Oh, fucking hell. Whenever I, whenever I chat here, I always start veering off. No, of course I'm going back to farming sim. Yeah, exactly. Is it on Steam? Do you, what do you mean, Jack? Hang on, are we getting cross wires here? We're getting cross wires, aren't we? What's a Zoom class? Is that like an exercise class? That's what I should be doing actually. I can feel it inside. I need to, I need to get active. I think I'm getting to the point now where I, uh, I have put on a little bit of weight as well, which isn't the best for feeling good. Not crazy amounts, but I think I need to get out and do some running, do some weights, just feel a little bit better, you know? Is Modern Railway on Steve? No, no, Jack, we're talking about um, a real Model Railway. Model Railway, Model. Oh, Zoom is video composite. Oh, okay. Yeah, model, as in like a, you know, model. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Chris, yeah. But that's fine, I totally respect that, and it takes a lot more commitment to to model something like that, or model the war years, you know. I, I, mine was just like, oh, I fancy having a bridge there. I'll build a bridge, that's what mine is, you know. Nah, this channel will only be gaming. Yeah, only. That's all right, Jane. Hello, Aaron. How are you? How's Canada today? How's Canada? Let's put the blue lights on. It looks cool. Model as in... Whoa, look at that. Archie, you asked this last night, didn't you? How many pets? I think my wife answered you. I've got a German Shepherd. I've got a uh, Turtle. I've got a Tarantula. Um... Uh, Max's got a couple of goldfish. That's it. No, no quizzing, Steve. Oh, look at the sunset over here, look. No, quizzing's finished. We're just going to stick to gaming. Let's slow down a bit. Yeah, no, it is a... Um a uh, tarantula, yeah, spider, baby tarantula. He's getting pretty big now, actually. Yeah, he's, he's, he's... Yeah, I hate spiders as well. But tarantulas are beautiful. Absolutely stunningly beautiful. I've had... Uh, uh, he's my third one. Yeah, I've had a, a Chilean rose. <laughs> that was the size of my, of my hand. Then one, they're a bit addictive. Once you get one, you want another one. Um, and then I got a Mexican red knee, which is like a traditional-looking sort of black and orange tarantula he was lovely this one is a curly black hair um, and uh, yeah he's going to be pretty big a workout stream live yeah <laughs> nah just gaming just gaming oh look at the ambient light there that looks nice Pink footed, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. What a great game though, seriously, you know, especially for relaxation as well. Yeah, exactly, it's just it's just seamless, yeah. Now, only be about an hour and a half today. I might, uh, 600 kilometers, might do a short journey after this, but it's not gonna be the longest of streams today. But I wanted to come on, say hello, and just do a bit of gaming for a little while. Keep all my games ticking over. That sounds alright, Cody's. 800 quid. I mean, look at it, like all the signs. It's just, it's just very, very good, this game. 
Boxing game for exercise, yes, yeah. Hello games, how are you? Hello Callum. It's the ambient lighting though as well. Look at it, look, it just looks so real, doesn't it? Why can't you order it uh, yet, Chris? No, Andrew, I'm, I, I only really like... Um, I only really like tourist bus simulator and bus simulator. I don't really want to bring any more buses to the channel. And I know OMSI is meant to be like the most authentic one, but um, yeah, I'm quite happy with them too for buses. Yeah, you'd be surprised though, Leah. Sometimes you just have to go with it. I mean, obviously, if you've got a genuine phobia, that's different. I am scared of spiders, right? I wanted a tarantula. I probably told you this story. I wanted a tarantula. Probably, I'm very impulsive, so if I want something, I'll have it the next day. That's just the way I am. I wanted a tarantula, and it took me about eight months. Every time I'd get close to getting a tarantula, I would start having nightmares. Proper nightmares. My wife would say, Bloody hell, you were having loads of nightmares last night. Shaking, jumping up. Weird. Every time I'd, I'd, I'd think about them on my face, I'd jump in, it'd be in my bed. It really, really weird. Um, I don't like them. I don't like them at all. But I wanted one. The tar I'd be watching videos. There's Tarantula Guy 86, I think, on YouTube. Um, really, really beautiful little creatures. And anyway, um, I sort of said to my missus, right, yes, I'm definitely getting one. And then I'd have more nightmares. And I'd go, look, I'm not getting one. Anyway, it was Father's Day. And many years ago, I can't remember how many years ago, my wife went to the pet shop um, secretly and brought me a tarantula um, and she put it in this room actually when it was a garage and uh, later on in the day, like, she had to bring it home herself, they put it in quite a big cage because he was a big bastard, he was like, by the time he, by the time he died the poor sod, he was as big as my hand, he was fucking a monster and um, she had to, she brought the cage and everything or the, you know, the, the glass cage and she said, can I just leave it in there and, like, just drive it home? And they're like, no, no, you got to put it in a box. So, poor cow, she had to, they put it in the box, but she had to get it out of the box, put it, um, put it inside the little thing. Anyway, she unveiled it to me. She went, well, we've got a present for you. And honestly, my emotions, as soon as I saw it, I was scared, I was happy. Fucking hell, you know? And there it was, it was like, wow, there's a tarantula in my house. Couldn't believe it. And from that moment on, I've loved them. But I've never picked them up. Never, ever picked them up. You don't have to pick them up. You, you absolutely don't have to. They're the easiest pets to, um, to care for. Absolutely easiest pets. You clean them out, like, once a year. Once every six months. You don't want to disturb them that much. Uh, you chuck in a bit, a few crickets uh, once or twice a week. That's it, it's done. They don't even move much, but there's something about them when they do move, when they start to move and all their legs are going, and then you wake up the next day and the whole thing um, is just all plastered in um, web, and you think, wow, he did that overnight, it's brilliant. Yeah, honestly, I was, I was, I was scared, really happy, yeah, yeah it was brilliant, and I loved it, and uh and then what would happen, I would calm down, so there's no more, there's no more nightmares, right? Then, I would start to think, I need to pick him up, you know, to be a true tarantula owner, I need, I need to, um, Stay left. I need to pick him up. Hang on, have we got to go in here? No, no, we've got to go to the way station, which is here. That's it. What's, whoa, what is he doing there? then once I decide to try and pick him up then the nightmare started again I'm fucking having nightmares about my own spider every night and in the okay. end I just decided I'm not going to pick him up and I never did I never never picked any of them up because their skeleton is on the outside if you drop him they explode and it's not very fair on them is it and I know that once it gets on my arm and starts doing all that shit, I just it's just too much for me. So I just um I just look at him through the cage. I'll show him, I'll show the my little one if you want. He's only over there. I don't know how well you'd be able to see him. Cause they, oh they are really fragile. Yeah, God, they're really fragile. They they got an exoskeleton. How long have I had him for? I probably had him for about. How long do you reckon, Madman? Because I told you about him. Four months, something like that. I'll go and get him. 
I don't know if you'll be able to see him. Yeah, I'll show you the little one. <laughs> I don't know how well you'll be able to see him. Let's put him down there. Yeah, they have all their skeletons on the outside. Yeah, very, very weird. And it's not natural to pick them up. No, no, you're totally right. I'll go in from pet shop. Let's, uh, let's go there. So if you don't like tarantulas, look away now. Right? I'm not here to scare you. But, um, yeah, if you don't like them, then look away. There he is there. He's lovely. He is really, really lovely. And he's going to be quite big as well. There he is. Oh, he's lovely. He is really, really nice. And he's probably, he's probably, I'd say he's about four times as big as when I first got him. He was a tiny little thing. He really was. You can see all the dead crickets in there. But he's lovely. He he, he wouldn't hurt you. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Look, that's a, that's a good shot. Beautiful. You can see it moving, look. <laughs> and that little um, yellow thing, that's just a bit of sponge. You take that out and uh, just put some water, because at the moment he's a little bit too little. If you put a bowl of water in there, it'd probably end up drowning. So um, we don't want to do that. Uh, how near fully grown is that? Oh, God, no, no. He'll, he'll, be, he'll, he'll sit on the palm of my hand. Yeah, he'll, he'll be massive. Yeah, absolutely massive. The scariest time, the scariest time of my other tarantula was I woke up in the morning and obviously I knew that he molted. I knew that, but I didn't realise how well they molt. I woke up and there was two tarantulas in my <laughs> in the cage. Two. One, I had to look closely to see which was the real one. That's how well sometimes they molt. They literally crawl out of their um, uh, uh, whole body, even the fangs, everything gets replaced. And uh, they sit next to their body, and we got him out. And for for ages, it's like tissue paper. For ages, I had him pinned to the wall by the front door. <laughs> but it was a perfect mole. Oh, it was an it's the best mole I've ever seen. I literally had to look twice to see which was the real one. <laughs> when you wake up in the morning, do you need to get him defanged? No, of course not, Jordan. Uh, Jordan, these are all um, myths. You can't get him defanged. He wouldn't be able to eat. You know? No, you can't. You can't. Um, you can't get them defanged. That's, I mean, that would just be ridiculous. It doesn't exist. Go straight. Yeah, it's weird. There's, um, we call him the insect man. If you go to like little fairs or or boot fairs or school fairs, you've got this man that comes out and he's he's got tarantulas, he's got snakes, he's got goats, chickens, he's got everything, and you can. Um, I don't know how much they're paying, probably 100 quid, 200 quid, whatever. He brings all his all his snakes out and spider. And uh, yeah, I've, I've held a, um, a bird eating, which is as big as my hand. If you're in Discord, I'll put a picture up later. It, it's a two-handed job. This thing is fucking huge. And I think the hardest thing for me is getting him out of the cage and putting him back in. If someone plonks him in my hand, you know, I'm a geezer. I can put up with that, right? But it's, it's putting him in the cage, putting them out, scaring them, scaring me. I don't like that. But uh, yeah, I've held a bird eating, which is the biggest tarantula you can get or find. Oh, it's two hands. You couldn't do it with one hand. He is absolutely huge, but just so beautiful. What of tarantulas, Snowy? Only that one. Yeah, I had two a little, two a few years ago. Um, I had them in my office at work, actually. <laughs> I bet you would, Steve. Yeah, the lights are nice. You can see up. Is that up in the mountains? Is Gold it? Street. You can see some some lights, can't you? But he's nice. The tarantulas are funny. They don't do much. I mean, he he does nothing. He does nothing. But he's just lovely. He is lovely. But will I ever pick him up? No. Nah. And whenever I needed to clean my other one out, the one that I just told you about, the massive one, you know, like the big sweet uh, jar of sweets like what I would do is I've got one of them loads of holes in it take the top off of the uh, take the top off of the sweet jar take the top off of the tarantula cage just put the sweet jar over him 
um, give it a little tap underneath, he would climb up into the sweet jar, I'd quickly lift it up, put the lid on, put him to one side, clean it out, and then put the sweet jar back in. You don't have to pick them up, and you shouldn't really. You shouldn't. They're not made for it, are they? So that's it, animal time with Game Tech UK. <laughs> And my turtle, I've got a beautiful turtle. He's like a terrapin, but he's not a terrapin. Like a yellow-bellied uh, slider. I've had him since a little tiny baby. Um, we've got him for about... Had him for about... Oh, it must be nine years, something like that. Um, he could be big enough to pick me up, yeah. And uh, I've put him on the stream before, actually. Yeah, I've brought him out on an elite stream. Uh, I've brought him, put him on the camera, but he's, uh, he's old now. I don't want to do that to him. He's lovely, he's probably, well you can't see, but he's he's massive. He really is massive. It's been off sorted, yeah, exactly, yeah. No, he's in his tank, I don't want to drag him out of his nice warm tank. And half the time, yeah, they will be camera shy, his legs and head will go in, it'll just be like a little ashtray, you know? So we've still got 400 kilometers to go. So far so good with this huge load, but obviously, um, are they stars? No, they're stars, aren't they? Yeah, they're stars, up in the sky. Look how they shine for you, look. Truck driver's alright, I mean, it's not this game, but if you've only got a console, then uh, yeah, truck driver's alright. It's a very early days for it, and if you purchase it, it's, a, it's more of a sort of early access game, even though it's officially not. But yeah, it is worth it. It is worth it. But you can pick it up pretty cheap now as well. you got chicken curry, nice. That's the problem with getting up, I have breakfast, sort my stream out, now all of a sudden I'm, I'm, I'm hungry, but is it breakfast, is it dinner time, you know? <laughs> Yeah, definitely, Chris, yeah, yeah. I'm probably having a night off tonight, Hanksy. Yeah, probably won't be streaming much today. I'm going to go out for a nice walk after this. Get a bit of sun. Because, I mean, I ain't been out of the a uh, house for ages. And, I mean, we all joke. I mean, I don't go out that much anyway because I work from home. I go into the office once or twice a week. But I'd say over the last three weeks, fucking hell, I really haven't been out of the house. Even getting sunlight, which obviously isn't good for you. It's easy to get stuck into ruts, isn't it? And then you know what's good for you. You know, you, I know I should get my trainers on and go for a run around the uh, block. But you just think, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, you know. And have free Snickers, you know. But yeah, we've all got to try and keep upbeat at the moment. And that's what the stream's about, really. Like last night, I thought it was just awesome fun. It really was. At one point, though, I've got 200 people in. I'm trying to organise getting my daughter in. My boy's upstairs upset because he didn't finally get in. I've got my missus at the door going, what's going on? Why is Max up there upset? <laughs> I'm trying to sort everything out. Oh, God. But once it settled down, it was fine. That last Royale, oh, that was really good. Nice and clean. Really, uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, of course it would. On a firm bus on high settings, well, firm bus is quite a, a hungry game anyway, Nathan. So I'm not sure about that. But you've got, uh, you know, it's a good car, 1650. There's nothing wrong with it. Crash vehicle. Get it. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry to hear that, Liam. Bloody hell. Malhaba. Malhaba. Nasa son. It's a Peter built car. Yeah, it was cool, Aaron. The last one, and Max did really, really well. Ping, hello. Hello, Oscar. How you doing? That is a long time since you've been in. Since you've been in, you've even got the old GT UK logo. Look at you. He's old school. Nah, not not for all British, Leah. No, absolutely not. I'll do it later. I'm having a line. No. 
no, you don't get nothing that way. It's it's a way for a lot of British people, but no, not my way. <laughs> you like that, did you? That's the sun. Him. <laughs> This is really, uh, there's, there's no power left, I'm, I'm using all the truck's power to pull up these, even these slight inclines. Yeah, I mean Nathan, the um, Forza Horizon 4, again you can fine tune it, that is the great thing about the PC. But yeah, you have picked pretty high end games there. But what you find is, even, even on medium they'd be cool. What resolution? is an important question these days. A few years ago you didn't need to ask that because it was just 1080p. But what resolution? See a lot of people now are getting, we, we discussed this the other day, they're getting cheap PCs and plugging it into their TV at home. If your TV at home is 4K, asking sort of, oh what do I need to spend to get gaming is very, you know, for 1080p is a very different question to how much do I need to spend to get gaming in 4K. So it's um, if you're running it in 1080p, you're probably Ghost fine on Ultra, to be honest with you. I'm just wondering how this parking's going to go. Oh no, it's going to be bad, isn't it? 10-4, 10-4, on the side, on the side, Howard. You're gonna go and do some shopping. What sort of shopping? What, like food shopping? Or you, you can only clothes shopping. <laughs> All shut, aren't they? It can only be food shopping these days, can't it? Although, don't worry, Asda's, uh, Asda's got all their clothes and all that on sale. It was a long stream, yeah. It's not gonna be a long stream today. In fact, I might only just do this delivery, actually. If that's all good. Still gonna, still gonna be hour and a half. No, that Nathan, that is a video. I stay left, okay. That is a video I've been wanting to make for a little while because I've got quite a few little um, settings that I've changed that I think have improved the game. And like I always say, the experienced guys won't be interested, but for new people on it, I think I can improve the game um, quite a bit with the settings that I've made. Food mainly, yeah few extras there's always extras Chris well like a steering wheel <laughs> yeah Steve that that can happen a lot getting overwhelmed with it hello Stimson how are you you're, you're absolutely right sometimes you just ask, just have to bite the bullet and say look I've got a grand to spend I've got 800 what can I get I'm gonna get something you know because at the end of the day they're not hugely different you know, there, there can be a lot of, oh yeah, but this one's got 300 megahertz more, or this RAM runs slightly faster. But in the real world, you know, how much of that are you actually going to see, you know? Yeah, of course, Nathan, absolutely. Pro Mods is your go-to mod. Spanker Wookie, you were making me laugh in, in Discord earlier. It wasn't very helpful, was you? God, give me strength. <laughs> yeah, and they're all upgradable. They're all upgradable. You know, these are questions from years ago. Oh, is it upgradable? Yeah, they all are. You just take the RAM out, put more RAM in, RAM in. You don't like the graphics card, just take it out, put it in, you know. Yeah, I don't recommend, if no one's got no knowledge, don't think don't listen to people that go oh it's easy because you've done it you know I don't change my own brake pads I'm sure it's easy of course it's easy you know you don't need a fucking rocket scientist to be to change brake pads but I don't do it because I don't know how to do it and actually I don't want to do it a lot of people are like oh no no just get the bits put them together yourself it's like Lego it is but it's very expensive Lego and if you plug it in the wrong hole you'll fuck it you know and if something doesn't work with something else you have to send things away individually. Right, this processor's got something wrong with that. No, it's not a processor. Oh, I have to send the board away. Whereas, um, if you just get it pre-built for your first one, I recommend, if you don't know, um, just get a pre-built one. Just get a pre-built. Because then you've got a warranty under the whole thing then, don't you? If you buy from a decent, com decent company, I know, second nature. If you buy from a decent company, you've got a warranty under that box, regardless of what's in it. Um, and then you'll start to get more experienced and put your own bits in and then you'll think, oh, this is easy, that's fine. 
because you've built up to it. But to get a box full of bits uh, delivered to your house, that's probably going to spend cost you about a grand. And just go right, let's put it together. Yeah, the YouTube videos and the instructions, that's fine until it doesn't go that that way, until something doesn't happen that it's meant to. Then you're like, oh, what shall I do? Shall I plug it in here? Oh, I don't know. Then something goes pop and it smokes. You just don't want to do it. Three year warranty, exactly, Steve. Exactly. Yeah, no, you, yeah, you can definitely do that. I'm talking about the people that just don't know about computers, never touched anything like that at all. It's a risk, it's a risk. Yeah, exactly, Stacey, exactly. No, just don't go PC specialist, no. Fucking hell. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, it's nothing wrong with a pre-built. Like I say, especially if you're buying from a decent company, all the components would have been uh, all tested together. It's all good. Stormforce, never heard of them, Nathan. But if it works and it, it, you know it's what you want, it's what you, your budget, it's good, isn't it? Exactly. It's like saying this afternoon. I need new brake pads, I'm going to go and I think I'm going to do it myself. You know, you might not have the right tool, you might not have, a, you know, they're individual tools, aren't they? Like, you've got to torque it up to a certain thing, unless you've got that, you can't guess. You're not allowed to guess, it's too dangerous, you know? Yeah, that's fine then, Nathan. It's a bit, PCs are a bit like, um, it's a bit like your console, at the end of the day, they're just boxes aren't they, what you've got on your screen is really the fun you're going to have with it, and the reason you buy it, people can go too deep into the brand, the components, the way it looks, the LEDs, you can go too far can't you, and it's the same with Xbox, it really doesn't matter, it's a black box, that's all it is, the, the fun is, um, Yeah, just ignore me. Okay, I will then. I instruction? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do it. <laughs> they are just boxes. Yeah, they are just boxes. <laughs> he gives me three messages whilst I was talking about something else to go, mm, just ignore me then. Honestly, Hussein, what are you doing? I'm not going to take spammers anymore. I'll just um, hide people from the channel. Just hide them. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do from now on. And a lot of these questions from people is, uh, trust me, I love questions because it starts conversations and stuff like that. But when people come in, and it's just a simple Google, isn't it? You know, it's just a Google. How much is bus simulator? Oh, there it is. It's ten pound. It's very, very easy, isn't it? You know, sometimes, you, you, sometimes you think, could you just go to Google and have a look for yourself? You know, genuine questions like, how do you do that? Because it's part of a discussion. Absolutely fine. But sometimes people come in, it's just like, could have just gone to Google for that, you know? Come on. What happened to Epic? I just hid him. Yeah, he was just talking absolutely shit. Oh, what does an STD mean? I've just gone to the doctor and he's told me I've got one. You're not impressing me, mate, you know? So, uh, yeah, just uh, hid him, yeah. No, I don't mind answering questions. Don't get me wrong on what I've just said there. But sometimes you just think, if you really wanted to know, you know, you would just look on the store or like, yeah, come on, you know, little things. Like think, saying, oh, what steering wheel have you got? Of course, that's a genuine question, isn't it? You know, how does it feel? What's that What's that um, gear shifter? I've lo I love that. But when people come in, it's like, that's really just a Google question. <laughs> Go straight. Unless I'm doing a bus simulator stream, then it's on topic, isn't it? That's purely on topic. But to come into another stream and then moan because you don't get answered in, in two messages, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, Nathan. It's not a bad little hobby, though, is it? If you're into it, it's not a bad hobby. Actually, I think I'm going to stay in this one. Right, we've only got 62 kilometres, and then the fun starts of parking. 
I don't know how this is going to go. I honestly don't. <laughs> Google Tech. Yeah, please don't take the wrong way what I've just said. I don't, and don't think, oh, I better not ask him that. I love questions, you know, but sometimes you just think, you know. Go straight. Yeah, in the dark, yeah. I'm hoping, um, I'm hoping the fact that it is a huge load, that it's just quite a fair plonket there, you know? Yeah, the F1 wheel is awesome. Yeah, I do. You, you're talking about the Thrustmaster um, add-on. Is that the one you're talking about? Yeah, good point, Leon. Yeah, but something like that, how much is the DLC, is pretty... Um, but yeah, I understand what you're saying, saying there, Leon. That's a good point. Yeah, they rounded it down. This is why everyone kept saying it's £10.74. I'd be like, yeah, let's just wait until it's rounded down because they told me um, construction sim was going to be £14.99 and it went down to eleven ninety nine. you know? No, I never reverse with free third person. Stay the only right. one I do use is that. Right. You know, I use that one where you lean out the window. Exit right. You blame Jason as well. It happens a lot. It's fine. Who do I blame though? Oh. Oh God. Come on. Oh shit. I've got no power. Oh, that was lucky. God, that's really heavy. Um, it just it didn't really. It went all right actually, Matthew, but um. Loads of spammers. It was just a bit boring, really. It wasn't. It wasn't the best one. It wasn't as good as the previous week, so I thought I'd just remove it and be done with it. Exactly, Stimson. Yeah. Oh, it's for the channel. I've got this imaginary thing called the channel. I'm buying that for the channel. <laughs> I'm buying this rig for the channel. I'm selling this rig for the channel. I'm buying this other rig for the channel. <laughs> Luckily, my missus doesn't moan. She's all good. Yeah, that's a mod, the blue light, so it looks great, doesn't it? So I will pop off after this one. You never know, I might drop back with uh, something else later on. But uh, I do feel the need for having a good old walk. It is dark, but it's getting lighter, which is going to be very handy when we start parking. They just do such a good job of making the, the map feel alive. You know, there's people going on, people moving around. It's great, isn't it? What are you hauling? It's this weird sort of... I don't know what it is, actually. It's, it's almost like an army thing, but it's not... I don't know. I don't know what it is. I think it's part of something else. Members only streams always at the end of the month. Oh, look at that. Oh, lovely. Nice oh, that's lovely, that is. <laughs> it was always going to be this way, surely, you know? Oh, you're actually taking it to a place that does all this stuff. That's good. That's immersive, isn't it? We're actually taking it to a uh, heavy machinery department. You could just click the member button, um, Eric, if you wanted to. Yeah, I'm going to go out, Eric, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Andrix, sorry. Yeah. There we go. Bosh. Oh, nice one, Kevin. That's good. It's a good little expansion, isn't it? Bosh, right, that is it, everyone. Hopefully, I'll be back with something later. If not, I will see you tomorrow. Um, but yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Go out and get some sun where possible. Other than that, stay in, stay safe, and uh, I'll see you next time.